Good Monday to everyone. I just wanted to give you a brief little uh, glimpse at my office area, craft area back here. I'm going to be putting up an in-depth tour, but I changed some things out. And this is what it looks like now. Got all the storage for everything I need. And everything is nice and pink and happy. Don't mind my chair with the towel on it. It's vinyl and it sticks to my legs because I wear shorts. So I am going to do a plan with me Monday. And I'm actually going to do it in real time instead of doing a voiceover. So let's get started. All right, guys, I've never done a real time plan with me. So um, I already drew out my squares here. I use squares that are two inches wide by three inches um, vertical and that's just what works for this uh, planner notebook I've got an edge here that I use for notes and then on this side I've got again the two inches two inches and then I divide Saturday and Sunday in half so they're roughly uh, about an inch and a half an inch and a quarter actually um, because I don't really plan for my weekends, so that's why I make them so much thinner. I don't have much to write. So I will start by showing you what I'm using. I've got some butterflies here. I'm feeling kind of springtimey still. I'm feeling it. I'm in Maryland, so I'm kind of waiting for springtime to fully appear. We had to put our heater on again last night. Very upset about that. <laughs> um, these are from the Dollar Tree. These are from the Dollar Tree. These are from the Dollar Tree. And I know that this is a Scotch washi, so that's obviously not Dollar Tree, but I have no idea where these came from. I can't keep track of them. So that's what we're doing. Let me start laying my washi down. So I'm pretty excited to start my um, like Get Healthy With Me series. I have been trying for, I'd say, the last week to really um, focus on my nutrition because if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know what I'm talking about. Well, let me explain it. So I decided that um, it's really time to start bettering my health and the area that I need to work on is fitness and nutrition because um, I'm overweight and it's not healthy. It has nothing to do, nothing, when I tell you nothing, like it has nothing to do with the way that I look. Um, I told my daughter and my husband both this. I said, I think that it would be easier for me to like, um, I don't know. I think it would be easier for me to like lose weight if I hated myself. Does that make sense to you guys? And maybe I'm wrong. I'm like telling you what I'm thinking. Um, when I look in the mirror, like don't get me wrong. Of course, everybody wants to look in the mirror and be like, wow, I look fabulous. But I don't look in the mirror and think I don't look good. I think that I'm fine. I don't... I don't know, it's really hard to explain. I know that I'm overweight and that's the hard part is knowing that I'm not healthy. So that's where this came from. This did not come from me wanting to lose weight to be, you know, like I see a lot of people posting on like YouTube or social media or whatever. And when they show the before picture, the picture of them overweight, they're like, this girl hated herself and was depressed and used food as her da 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 And like, that's not me. That's not going to be my before picture because I don't hate myself and I'm not depressed. Um, so I don't know. I feel like I'm just like in a different category. I don't know. I don't even know how to say it. So anyway, my thought process was that if I started a like bettering my health series, 
that you guys also could hold yourself accountable in the comment section. Whoa, throwing scissors, come on now. Um, you guys could also hold yourself accountable in the comment section um, on whatever you're doing to better your health. Um, like I said on my Instagram story, it could be maybe you need to focus on your emotional health. Maybe, um, maybe you need to go get an appointment with that counselor. Um, maybe you need to consider taking medication for depression. I'm on medication for depression. Um, I take it every day and I've been through a couple medications. Um, some of them just stopped working. Some of them, um, started having negative side effects. But, like, I didn't just go, okay, I'm done with taking the medicine because it's giving me, you know, bad side effects. Like, you have to try new medications. I call it um, living your best life. So, if you're not living your best life, if every day is not the best for you, then there's something that you can work on. And I am living my best life as far as who I am, my family. Um, you know, I'm on medication for my depression because I do suffer from depression without my medication. However, with my medication, I, um, don't have any problems. So that's why I put this out there and I wanted to encourage you guys that if you have something that you need to work on to like, quote unquote, live your best life, I want you guys to do that and I want you guys to do it with me. And so every week I will come on here and of course mine is going to be like, mine is going to be like weight loss and fitness and nutrition related because that's where I need to improve in my life. But I want you guys to feel free to pick anything else, whether it be quitting smoking. Um, me and my husband actually are former smokers. I smoked. Uh, I want to say from the time I was 14 till I was 32, I want to say. Um, and I just quit because I got strep throat one time. And I got super duper sick. I couldn't go outside. You know, we don't smoke in the house. We never smoked in the house. We don't smoke anymore. But when we did smoke, we didn't smoke in the house. And so I couldn't go outside because it was January. We live in Maryland. It was cold. It was snowing. And um, so I didn't go outside for like five days. And then when I started feeling better, I was like, why in the world would I go out and start smoking? Like, I'm already five days without smoking. Like, why would I go back to it? <clears throat> um... Mother's Day. Oh, that's sweet. So, um, yes, happy late Mother's Day to any of you moms. We had an amazing day yesterday and Saturday, just kind of hanging out with everybody. It was good. Um, so anyway, after I got done and I started feeling better, I was like, why would I go outside and start smoking again when it's already been five days? And then I will tell you about three months after I quit smoking, um, we had some health issues in the house and I was really stressed out and so I was like, forget it. I'm going to start smoking again. So I picked up, <laughs> I picked up my husband's cigarettes and he was smoking full marble reds. <laughs> and if you guys know anything about smoking, um, marble reds are like really powerful. <laughs> they have a lot of nicotine in them. So I smoked two cigarettes back to back. And then I felt like death. <laughs> I was shaking. Um, I was drooling. I felt nauseous. I totally had a nicotine overdose. And I never smoked again. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how I quit smoking. But, you know, I just, I want you guys to um, pick something that is going to better your life. Um... And then every week we're going to come in and I'm going to record and tell you what did I do to better myself. Did I, and you know, I'm going to report my failings. I'm going to report my, you know, my, um, 
what am I looking for? Failings and winnings. I don't know. My successes. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to report my successes, but I'm also going to report where I fell short. And so I encourage you guys to do the same. Come into the comment section every week and um, hold each other accountable. That's my big thing is that if I don't have somebody that is depending on me, then sometimes I won't fulfill it because a lot of times I put myself last just because like I'm, I don't know, I'm that momming type. Like I put everybody else first. So if somebody's not depending on me to do something, then I'm less likely to do it. I don't know if you guys, if that makes sense to you. All right, let's get some stickers laid on here. So I hope that you guys are excited for that. I hope that um, we can all be a big encouragement. I don't want any negativity in these comments either because um, you have to be uplifting to others. If you can't be uplifting to others, then just stay quiet. It's that old saying that mama used to say, if you don't have nothing nice to say, my girl's got it because she knows I say it to her all the time. If you have, Wait, you have yes, it's so true too. But it, is, yeah. it is. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But if you do have some positive, um, positive, positive, if you have some positive comments for one another and you want to lift each other up, that is going to be the place to do it because um, we all need encouragement. We all have crappy days, you guys. And um, sorry, I was out of frame. If we can't come together and, you know, lift each other up, then I don't know. What's the point? So, I'm loving these stickers. They are so cute and they're very sticky, too. What theme are you going with? I'm going for some butterflies. To spring. I know, because I'm still waiting for spring, Hannah. <laughs> still waiting for spring, guys. I don't understand where it went, but... Literally, she still has the sign up. I know, I do on my chalkboard. It says, hurry spring, because I don't know where spring is, and I'm waiting it's, for it's it. It's the middle of May. I know, but have spring. I have the heater on, and I'm not digging that, guys. No. We I'm need, not enjoying that. We need the heater on because of Maya. I know, yeah. Well, and, I mean, it dipped down. It was 55 degrees yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Last night, I was freezing. I know. I came in and tucked you in and put more blankies over you. Uh, thank you. Because I was freezing. Get some of these butterflies on her. Oh, my gosh. These are huge. But I know. Really they're cute. cute. They really are cute. I don't know what I'm going to do for my theme. Oh, head over to my channel, Pets and Me, for a Plan With Me Monday today. Let's hope. <laughs> Shameless plug right there. Quiet. You were going to put it on the description. I was. I was totally going to do that for her because I love her. She loves making me famous. YouTube famous. You're YouTube famous, sister. All right, what are we using here? Dream, laugh, smile, love. I could use all those. Long. But let's see what we have going on this week first. So this is my um, little planner. I think I've showed you guys this before. Yeah, you have. It's just an altered planner from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> and this is what I carry around with me so I can write down upcoming appointments so I don't double book myself. Tuesday is busy, um, and then I've got Wednesday and Thursday, Hannah's um, outside school. She needs to do homeschool, and then... Um, Okay, so we're really not that busy today. So let's do this. Let's go in here and put some of these beautiful stickers in some of these boxes so we don't have so much blank space. Because I personally love um, opening my planner here and just seeing lots of pretty stuff. I like seeing colors. I like seeing my theme for the week. Um, I just like it to be very colorful. 
So since I'm, and sometimes if I'm super busy, I don't put as many stickers because I need, of course, room to plan. But sometimes, like this week, I'm not super busy, so I've got room to add some stickers in. Lots. Yes. And again, guys, you do not need a big, huge $160 name brand whatever planner. If you have one, good for you. You can still plan with me. But I'm here to show you this is Dollar Tree, and it's a notebook, and it was 50 cents. It actually wasn't Dollar Tree. It was on sale at Kmart for 50 cents. You could literally use this. Yeah. Anything. This would actually be a really good planner. Anything. Seriously. You do not have to be, you know, top line, top dog. All right, so this is where we are so far. And I'm totally happy with it. I'm sorry if the lighting's not right. Um, I am using a new light right now, but it looks like it might be giving you guys some glare. I don't know. We'll see when I uh, edit this video. So, beautiful, happy. Planner. Planner. So let's get in here and put our appointments. This light that um, she's using, she got from the Dollar Tree. I did. It's a sunbeam light. It's an LED. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you put your hand over it and like it turns on. So I'm going to put appointments in this second box here. So that's it. I didn't really have a lot to add in this week. It's pretty simple. Kept it pretty basic. Now I don't have my um, like to do list. This is notes. So if I'm you know looking at my planner here and I need to add in a note, I can do it here. However, I will show you. Let me just give you a good overview of this. And then I will show you that I keep a running list of things to do for the week. Um, that way, if Hannah says, hey mom, I need you to, ba -da -da -da, I can come over here and dump it on my running list of things to do. Um, if Selena says, oh, I forgot, I need you to write it right here. So this was started yesterday, May 12th, and it is literally a list of things to do. And as a matter of fact, I can mark off, take guinea pig stuff to um, Animal Welfare League because we did that yesterday. Um, that's it, that's all I get to mark off, darn. Okay, <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff to do this week. So that's what I do as far as like a running to-do list. Sometimes I will create a, um, a flip on this with either a post-it note or a project life card. I do like doing that. And I'll do my running to-do list on here. 
Um, but a lot of times I will just do it on a piece of paper or even like an envelope. Hannah got me this for Mother's Day yesterday. So I am using this because <laughs> no problem, Mama. Mama. Jamba. Jamba. So anyway, that's, um, that's what I'm using for my running list. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the plan with me today. And I will see you back here tomorrow for an office desk tour. I gave you that little sneak peek. I hope you come back and join us for that. All right, guys. Have a great week. Bye.